Here we'll show how to perform seed sowing with a Kubota manual sowing machine. Sowing seeds and covering them with soil can be performed by pushing a sowing machine along rails attached to both sides of seedling trays. Here you see the sewing machine's various parts and accessories. Make wooden rails along which to move the sewing machine and place them on a flat surface. Make the rails from materials such as squared lumber so they match the seedling tray's width. This illustration shows the recommended dimensions. Adjust the guide rollers using the collars to fit them to the width of the rails you made. Adjust the wheels by loosening the fixing bolts to fit the width of the guide rollers. Trial sewing is done to adjust the amount of seeds to be sewn. Place empty trays between the rails. And then position the sewing machine. Turn the brush opening adjustment dial to adjust the sewing amount. Turning it to the left increases the quantity and turning it to the right decreases it. For example, if the dial is set to 4, the gap between the brush and the roll is about 2.5 millimeters. If your machine is a two-dial type, turn both dials simultaneously. Do not turn the dial from zero to the right. And do not turn the dial more than one turn to the left. Doing so can cause a malfunction. Fill the hopper with rice seeds. Lightly fill your hand with seeds and release them. They are sufficiently moist if few stick to your palm. Operate the shutter lever to release the brake. Move the sewing machine in the direction of the adjustment dials in order to sew the seeds. Move it at a constant speed for uniform sewing. Evenly sweep seeds on the tray edges back into the seedling trays. Measure the seed's weight after trial seeding. Repeatedly adjust the sewing amount by turning the adjustment dial until the seed's weight is the desired amount. As an example, in this case the weight is 180 grams. Fill the seedling trays with prepared soil. Level the bed soil to a thickness of 20 millimeters with the 10 millimeter side of the smoothing plate. Take care as the soil level tends to rise at the edges. Place empty trays at the beginning and end of the line to prevent any seeds from spilling. Line up the seedling trays containing bed soil between the rails. Next is watering. Use a shower type watering can. Irrigate until the bottoms of the seedling trays are soaked. As a guideline, use 1 to 1.5 liters per tray. Move the sewing machine along the rails to sow the seeds. Walk at a constant speed to prevent unevenness. 
If there are unseated areas, sew by hand to correct the problem. Install oscillation plates on the sewing machine to cover the seeds with soil. Fill the hopper with soil. Move the sewing machine over the seeded trays to fill them with soil. Cover the seeds with soil several times until the seeds are no longer visible. Walk at a constant speed to prevent unevenness. Next, apply soil by hand to any areas not yet covered, like the edges of the seedling trays. Clear away soil from the tray edges by hand. Seed sowing is now complete. After sowing is completed, neatly stack the seedling trays 15 to 20 layers high in a place where germination can be properly managed. Avoid overturning them. Put an empty tray filled with soil or a heavy object on top. This helps to keep the top tray from drying out and prevent soil from being pushed up. Also cover all of the stacked seedling trays with a net in order to protect them from rats and other animals. Remove the net and uncover the stacked trays in order to check the germination status. When the sprouts are about 5 millimeters in length, germination is completed. <laughs>